you tease about this 100th episode? What do I want about it? What can you tease about it? Um, it's a good one. I thought the writers were very clever. They made it the 100th anniversary of the city of Orson, and so that's a celebration for the town and uh, subtly celebrating our 100th episode at the same time. And um, so there's a parade, and the Hex are, well, they make a the mistake of volunteering to participate, and so naturally it, it's a regrettable decision. And, um, but it's fun. It involves a giant flaming cow. So you can't go wrong with a giant flaming cow. You, you, you probably could go wrong with it, but um, yes, that, that, yeah, that's right. I don't know how many, you know, can't brag about much, but I don't think many shows have giant flaming cows. So, uh, what can you, uh, what can you tease about the rest of the season? What am I going to do about it? Nothing. I just coast. Oh, um, gosh, you know, for the most part, when when we're done shooting an episode, I it's just it's like that day's lines. I don't I don't remember it anymore. Um, I'm sure wonderful things will happen. The, well, one thing that's good is the show, I think, always has good guest stars. And, um, and they'll continue to come to pass through and return. And, uh, you know, Brian Doyle Murray has been back, and it's always great to see him. And, uh, in fact, he's in the 100th anniversary episode. Um, so it'll be, I'm sure, the same quality it always has been. And uh, out of 100 episodes, is there a moment that stands out to you from the middle? I could fake an answer, but no. There, it, it, it's been a pleasant march through 100 episodes. I enjoy each one pretty much equally, and um, I just feel lucky to have this job. We have a great time. Everybody gets along, and the fact that uh, people enjoy watching it is just uh, icing on the cake. What for you typifies a middle moment? Say, hmm. You mean like what a, what a typical way to describe the show, or like? Or just if you if you see something, or you see a scene or a moment between the hex, it's like that's what the metal. Is. <clears throat> right, right. Probably. Um, uh, I would okay. I would say adjusting your behavior just slightly to accommodate something that's broken. Um, which I was familiar with from my own life, but you realize that you have to bang the TV on the side or, you know, shake the washing machine or tilt the fan at a 10 degree angle and then it will work, sort of. Uh, that's, that, that's pretty much typifies the middle. And if you could go back and talk to yourself at the beginning of the whole journey, what would you tell yourself? That's, that's, that's actually a good question that I've never been asked before, but I don't have a good answer for it. Um, what would I tell myself? Um, relax and enjoy and make the most of this. It's going to be a, a, a great time and s a certain number of people are going to really be glad that this has happened. Not only the people participating, but the people watching. And so I'm very grateful. And stay. Uh, I, yeah, normally I would answer that with a joke answer, but I, uh, no, I just tell myself the same thing I tell myself all the time. You're uh, very lucky. And one final question for you. Do you have a message for the fan as they get ready to watch that 100th episode? No, just just, just uh, enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching. That, that, uh, that's a good one. Um, I appreciate the people that have stuck with uh, and watched the show. It makes all the difference in reaching 100 episodes, so thank you.